good morning so today is monday and it's almost it's just past 10 o'clock in the morning and it's super early for me right now but because it's a monday which means it's kid free monday i had a few errands to run and this week this friday is valentine's day so valentine's day is just around the corner and i thought you know I don't know, like, Kelly and I aren't the most romantic, lovey-dovey couple, um, and we haven't talked about what we want to do for Valentine's Day. I guess it's harder when you've got a kid as well, um, but, I don't know, we'll probably just have dinner or something at home. I have really have no interest in actually going out to dinner as well, especially with a kid. Um, it just ruins the whole mood, but, I don't know, we'll see what happens, but, Valentine's Day is also not just a day, you know, for couples. It's also, you know, girlfriends. Like, what's it called? Galentine's Day. Um, hang out with some girlfriends. But I think the one thing that a lot of people forget is also self-love as well. Valentine's Day is also about loving yourself. So that's my theme this year in what I'm trying to promote. So for my birthday, my lovely girlfriends, my fanny packs, um, they bought me a voucher, a spa voucher to use. And I'm not the one that really loves massages and spas. Um, so what I've decided to use, which I really, really need, is a good wax. Um, so that's where I am today, getting a wax. So I just dropped Isabella at school. I'm uh, not school, childcare. Um, and I'm here bright and early to get a wax so that I can just run a few errands and go home and do more chores. But I'm kind of in a bit of a dilemma at the moment. This is a bit of a TMI, so if you're going to be grossed out by it, then I'm so sorry. But I don't know whether anyone else can relate. Like, like, I've had waxes done previously. And yes, I'm talking about Brazilian wax. But it's been a long time since I've had one. Like, it's like an Amazon, like, to right now. Like, after Isabel, like, I haven't really you know, pay too much, um, I guess, maintenance. Not that I really did anyway, but, you know, you know what I mean. So, um, which I have no, look, I'm quite confident, like, I guess, you know, that's just something that you have to do, and, you know, a lot of therapists, it's their job to see your bits down there. Um, but I understand, you know, it's always an awkward situation, and I've been in awkward situations before. Um, but... <sighs> This is what I've been dreading. So, girls or guys, like, holler if, you know, don't even have to mention it. Just leave an emoji down below if you've ever been in the same situation. Like, I'm so self-conscious. Like, my cousin's a beautician, and she tells me stories. And, you know, I know a lot of beauticians have stories, especially wax therapists. I don't know what they're called. You know, about hygiene and stuff like that. And I'm very self-conscious with that. Um... So I always make sure, that's why my hair's like, because I had a shower and, like, wash my bits and everything. Just so, you know, it's just respect, you know, for the beautician. Um, but normally in the morning, you know, I do my normal morning poop. But I haven't done one this morning and I'm so nervous. Like, I feel like I should really be doing one by now. And my appointment's in another couple of minutes. But I feel like... I'm so worried that what if I let one rip, like, oh my god, it's so embarrassing, and yes, it has happened before, sometimes when you get just too relaxed, and you just, like, let a little fart out, and I'm so worried, because I feel like, even if, you know, nothing happens, it's in that same area that I'm so nervous about, like... I didn't, like, you know when you try to go in the morning and you try to force it, it just doesn't come out? Like, I've just learned not to do that anymore. But I'm just like, oh, I don't know whether I should go beforehand or just, you know, wait till after. Like, I'm not, like, I don't have to go, but I feel like there's a whole, like, a lot of things that could happen. Ugh. But, yeah, so. Anyways, that is my self self kind of like self love right now is Mondays having Isabel at childcare means that it also gives me time to be give a bit of self love to myself um like I don't mind doing errands and stuff like that but I do like just being by myself and just you know taking my time to do things so <sighs> just thought I'll mention that but I'll see how I go guys so I'm just at home cooking watching the Oscars and Parasite 
a Korean film just won Best Pictures. You know, back to what I was saying last week about End of the World. If this was a political awards, Korea, South Korea, but still Korea won. Just saying. Hey, say hi everyone. Today is Friday and it's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to you and your loved ones. Make sure you spend the day um, with lots of love and happiness. Today we were meant to keep things, keep things low key today. Just stay home, have dinner as usual. Um, keep it quiet, but my parents are actually coming over now. Actually, my whole family is. My brother's coming too. So we're going to spend Valentine's Day with the family, aren't we? Yes, we are. <laughs> She's a bit clingy right now, and it's like super hot as well. I just cannot be bothered doing anything. This week, I was meant to try and go back to the gym, but I'm still got this like bad cough, and it's just taking a while to go away, and it's making me short of breath. So not using that as an excuse, but I kind of am as well. Um, I was going to go back yesterday, but the weather was also so freaking hot. Um, that I didn't go so I know it's really bad on me especially like the aim this year was to change bad habits and all but instead so what I've been doing lately as well so I know I haven't been going to the gym but my I'm trying to work on little habits so if I'm not going to the gym my main problem is is once Isabel goes bed to, goes to bed at night I tend to watch Netflix and usually when I watch Netflix is when I tend to binge um it's not the greatest like after dinner and then like you know late night snack and sometimes i'll eat like a whole meal again which isn't the greatest so my aim i guess the whole point of going to the gym was also just to you know since i'm watching netflix just go on the treadmill and just kind of like keep myself busy so i'm not binging um but now since i'm si since i was sick and the weather's being extremely hot and i get flustered really easy like I'm struggling this summer to be honest like I'm just like I feel so sticky all the time and feel so hot and then this little koala bear just wants to cling on me and she's like me we're both hot so we're both like sweating it out and we don't exactly have aircon downstairs just a fan which is normally not a problem when it's because we've got tiles but when it's like consecutive hot days yeah it gets super hot so so yeah so I guess what I've been doing I guess trying to keep myself Hang on, let me give a sec. That's our number one fan going on. I don't normally put her in front of the camera because obviously, you know, I'm worried about kids' privacy. Um, but this seems to um, keep her quiet at the moment, so. Say so, hi. Back to what I was saying, so basically to keep myself from binging at night, I just realised I just need to keep my hands busy and keep myself busy. So what I've been doing is I've been making some more felt food. Um, if you don't know, follow my, it is my parenting Instagram. I'll leave a link down somewhere here. Um, basically I've been trying to make, I'm not selling at the moment, but I'm seeing how things go. I might end up selling it, like maybe sell some, but I've been making felt food. It's kind of like a bit of an obsession. Firstly, it started from just like, you know, for Isabel to play with eventually. But honestly, I think it's for me. Because it's kind of addictive and if I, I don't know, see how I'll go, if I get a little interest, I might start selling them later. Um, so I've been making that and I've also been doing some sticker books. So a couple of years ago, I bought some sticker books from Kmart. They're like colouring books, like colour by numbers, but they stick on by numbers, which I kind of stopped because... Um, I don't know why I stopped, but now I realise why I stopped. It's because the stickers aren't that great. They don't really stick well. But it's kind of also good just to sit and watch TV and not have to think. And I've also been doing puzzles as well. So I've never really gone into puzzles. Like, I like I, – normally I'm into puzzles, like, um, those kind of thinking games and stuff. But I've never actually been into puzzles, like, building puzzles. I don't know. For me, when I think, you know, so when someone stays at home and, like, builds a puzzle, it's like – you must have a boring life or just doesn't seem appealing. But then again, I've never really gone into it. So now that I've kind of gone into it, I kind of see what the addiction is. So I'll show you the first puzzle. Actually, this is the second puzzle. So we bought the, Cam bought the Cause slash um, NGV collab puzzle, which I've done, but we're just waiting for that to be framed. But ever since doing that, it wasn't so bad. And it is kind of time consuming as well. And you don't realize you actually spend hours on it. So I started buying puzzles, my cousin Fiona and I. So 
this is a puzzle that I've built. It take, it's taken me about a week on and off, like a couple of nights. But I'll show you. I'm so excited. Like, it's actually not bad. I, I should have gone into this quicker. But this is the puzzle. So the puzzle is really affordable. It was like only $5 or something. And this is just a picture of Amsterdam. Um, it took me a while because, first of all, it wasn't super hard. Like once you get started, it kind of it's kind of easy to do because the weather's been so hot. Every time like I started doing like I got this done first, and then I started doing the top. But as I leaned forward, I kept losing pieces, and I realized they're actually getting stuck on me. So yeah. So yeah, that's what I've been doing to keep myself occupied while watching TV. Obviously, like when I'm doing this, like I can't really full on if I have to pay attention to like watching a tv or if it was like in a, another language we'll have to read the subtitles and obviously i'll sit there and watch but it's good just kind of like i guess this is like going back to what i was saying about self-love you know spending time for yourself me having quiet time and doing this is like my self-care my self-love and also just to recharge my mind as well so that's what i've been doing um and it's like sometimes like, i'll just sit here and do it put like a documentary on in the background where i'm not 100% into it but I can listen to it and still get a lot of information um the other day I was watching one about sustainability um as well as the secret so the secrets book they've had a documentary which isn't the greatest documentary as in editing and filming but the information is actually you know understandable so that is what I've been doing so now that I've finished with this I don't know what the what you're meant to do with after so I'll probably just like put it back in the box and like do a little puzzle swap with my cousin um i guess that's the one thing probably why i haven't done any puzzles i don't really know what to do with it after like once you're done with the puzzle are you supposed to keep it together and frame it because then you'll have a lot of puzzles everywhere so i think what i've me and my cousin decided is we might just do like a little puzzle rotation so i know a couple of cousins that are also um really into puzzles so i might see if they want to do like a puzzle rotation and just swap out because you know I guess puzzles are one things you build. I build things once and then that's it. And they're kind of like a waste, which is probably why I didn't start it to begin with. But now that this is done, I'm going to put it back in the box and swap it out. Kian came home and gave us roses. Me and my mum. Hello. Hi. Oh, Happy Wollongong Day. <laughs> Hello. Today is Sunday and it is a beautiful day today surprisingly i thought it was actually going to be quite miserable because this weekend has been quite miserable the weather is really on and off in melbourne like i don't know what's going on but today we had plans so on weekends like i try i want to try and do now that isabelle's a little bit older i want to try and do family time like you know find events things on the weekend that we can all attend and today we were supposed to go to um this urban um farm close to the city in brunswick it's called sarah's i think um i don't know whether it's like a a farm or it's like a community kind of um area and they're hosting like this fun raiser for timor leste and i thought it'd be fun because you know like even though i was born here my parents are born in timor east timor and I don't really know much and I try to, you know, attend these things, especially because a lot of my girlfriends um, likes going as well. So I was supposed to catch up with my girlfriends at this event and I thought it would be great to, for Isabel. I mean, obviously she won't know yet, but I also thought it would be great for her to, I guess, know a bit about our history, where we kind of came from as well. Um, but the it was a good, it's actually a good day for it, but um, unfortunately the scheduling, the time scheduling didn't work out for us so instead we are going to ikea so ikea i've been bugging like i've been itching to go to ikea for a very long time there's a few things i need to get for isabel um i've got a project i'm working on a project which is sort of finished i want to show you guys i'm super excited but i'm just kind of holding it off until i have everything sorted um isabel's kind of cracking it because we're kind of really waiting in the car while her dad goes and looks at barbecue stuff um, but yeah, so the plan today is go to Ikea. Oh, Isabel, what's wrong? Yeah, we don't like waiting in the car either. But I was hoping she was nap. I was hoping she would nap by now, but she's not. So hopefully she's not cranky pants when we're at Ikea because it is a wonderful place to be. <laughs> Good 
guys, it said there was six here, but there's like nothing here. What the fuck is going on? Ugh. Today was a failed trip to Ikea. Oh, so disappointed. So I have been patiently waiting. Like I've been meaning to go to Ikea for a while now because there's a few things I need to get. I went to Ikea a few weeks ago to get a little kids craft table for Isabel, but I wanted to get some chairs and other stuff and I didn't have any. So I've been kind of holding it off till, you know, I can get like a one big, you know, purchase, like just random stuff there. But unfortunately they didn't have a lot of items that I wanted in stock. So it was kind of a failed mission. I'm so like disappointed. And I went Kmart after and Kmart didn't have anything either. So I ended up coming back with three items from Ikea. So the first thing I got was this little pizza set. So I don't know if I mentioned this and I'll probably share later. I haven't decided what I want to do, but I've been making felt food for Isabel. Um, it's kind of like a, actually a hobby for me, like making it. And I'm kind of, I kind of went through a really obsessive stage and I made so much. Obviously she's not ready to play for it, but she, I think she will be soon, but, um, yeah, I've just been really obsessing about it, but there are some items like that. I think, guess when it comes to felt food, um, it's kind of like, I don't see a lot of places that have it and a lot of places that do stock it like online boutiques and stuff. It's still quite expensive. But there are certain stores like Ikea is bringing a lot of like, you know, felt food out. So I thought I'll purchase it rather than make it. I'll probably still make some of these, but, you know, just to see what's out there. So I bought her um, this pizza set, which is a new one. It's like felt some pizzas. And also I bought um, just like a bunch of like food. So this has like fish, some veggies, cheese, hot dogs, um, just some stuff. And I also bought some little kitties. So I've actually got a project that I'm working on, which I'll probably show once I have everything all set up. I was hoping to get more stuff, but unfortunately they didn't have it. So I might have to order it online. Like I was trying to avoid delivery fee. Um, I have some stuff from... Came out as well, which I might just end up buying it online. Um, but yeah, really disappointing mission today. Hmm. Didn't go the way I expected, but <sighs> oh well, it is what it is. We did catch up with um, a mate, which was good. It was good to catch up with him, so I guess it wasn't all so bad. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all we've got today. We've got dinner tonight, and then that's it. On a positive note, though, thanks to Auntie Mel for finding these so i think last week or so i said that um i mentioned that isabel lost her sandals and these are like my favorite sandals from kmart i'm uh, not kmart target but i couldn't find any in target but um my friend mel found these near her house so yay she's got her sandals back i got her next size up because she was kind of growing out of it anyway so yay <laughs> So we just had an early dinner. We made some homemade burgers with potato gems. Delicious. But I'm like super tired. I just gave Isabel a bath. My eyes are getting like so heavy. So I'm going to call it a night. Um, and yeah, so until next time, peace.